Welcome to Mind Meshes Movie Talks. My name's Chayton. And I'm Fish. And, and I'm also like stuffy right now, so I didn't feel like interrupting you. Bro, I was about to I time. was about to say I was like I was I was gonna text you today and be like, hey, if you ain't up to record this week, um I saw the text. I meant to text you back. Well no, I, I was gonna I, literally I was gonna message you, but I kind of forgot because I got sidetracked. I was gonna be like, uh I, I can get one of our friends to come on and be like a replacement host for a <laughs> while and we were gonna make the joke that you had the coronavirus. Oh, uh, but by the, no, by the time this is released, technically it's either a pandemic or it's, it's like, <laughs> it's gone under the, yeah. more like people forgot about it. Like they forgot about Ebola. Well, no, technically this is going to, well, uh, well, you know what I mean about Ebola. I don't know though. if that can happen in a week. Yeah. That Ebola was around for a bit before people just kind of like forgot about it. Anyways, praise the plagues of 2020 today. We're starting. Speaking of plagues, we're yeah. watching the movie Ready Player One. Oh, wait, I, was, I mean, I was going to kind of like. The February is our video game month, so we're going to be watching specifically video game movies, and we decided to start with the most video gamest of the video game movies. It's not ready. even like a video game, though. Yeah, it is. Wait, well, if, you've never seen this film, have you? Well, 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 no. I mean, like, I know it's about like in a video game. But yeah. Like, it's not a video game movie in the sense of like a franchise video oh, game. Oh, yeah, no, no. But it is a video game movie, similar to how Wreck It Ralph is a video game movie. That's a very good comparison, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, uh, actually, I don't think I, I've set up a sync point, which, but I'm pretty sure I know what's going on here. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Uh-oh, everyone, uh-oh. Oopsie everyone daisies. just calm down. We're calming uh, down. Anyways, let's, uh, let's talk about Ready Player One. What are some uh, iconic characters in this film that bro, you know not, of? <sighs> look, okay. Look, I, I'm really, I, I've never read the book. Let's, I know oh, you let's, like the book. Let's, let's hold this off until we actually get into the discussion, okay? Let, let's wait until we get I into know, the just opening to, scene. Just trying to Dude, pad time. It's all I'm right. To, to sync time. this movie up with the movie commentary track, here's what you're going to do. You're going to press pause on this movie commentary track when I say the pause and press play as soon as the Warner Brothers Pictures logo, the giant golden and blue emblem against a nice uh, light blue sky. As soon as that fades completely to black, you're going to press play on this movie commentary track. But for now, press pause. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, the silence. The, the complete darkness of the Village Roadshow pictures. It's exactly what I want to see in the beginning of my movie. I think, honestly, I think the silence really adds to the whole is it, effect. Is of, it silent? Or? Yes, this is a silent film. No, that's not what I'm saying. Is the volume just turned down? Or no, it's turned really up. quiet. It's at 200%, dude. We're blasting it once this baby starts. In association with Village Roadshow. Oh, wait, I've already said that. I hate when they show logos twice because they always have to add the in association with. Like, why not just put that above the logo? Yeah, instead of like having it back oh, in there in text. Hey, oh. here we go. Yes. It's time the first to start nostalgia the show. Trip. Yeah, so I read the book, loved the book. A lot of people call the book 80s trash just because it, they took everything from the 80s, threw it into a book, and tried to make a story out of it. But, uh, yeah, no, I loved the book. The movie is okay, but I feel like it should have gone the Lord of the Rings route where it was a trilogy and not just a singular film because they had to cram so much into the singular film that it just, it, it turns itself into a, a, lovely, a lovely video game movie mess that we've all known to come and enjoy. Or come come to enjoy. I mean, except the concept for, except of the world Detective sounds Pikachu. really cool. Oh yeah, no, the, but the, like I love the fact that literally this whole world is just everyone lost their jobs. Everyone like lives at home and plays VR, and only and people can only afford campers, and they ran out of space, so they had to start stacking the campers on top of each other. Bro, Pizza Hut. Dude, I thought he said pizza time there for a second. I was getting, pizza time. Yeah, I was getting some real Tobey Maguire nonsense coming out. Yeah, no. So have you ever seen? Have you seen this movie? No, I haven't seen it, and I haven't read the book either. Okay, I've I've re- seen reviews for both the movie and the book, and from what I've seen, at least in like the from the book, it seems like the character is just like this this guy that's like a know it. We're not really a know it all, but just kind of like. Jerks himself off about how much he knows video games. Uh, kinda. What's kind of weird about this is that in the book he's like a super obese neat. Oh, okay. Um, but he's pretty boy in this movie. Yeah, but he's he's pretty boy Cyclops from X Men First. And class. isn't like 
isn't the girl character supposed to be like? Oh yeah, no, she's supposed to be pretty. She's supposed to be pretty bad as well. Because and, uh, like, and when you think about it in this uh, in this kind of situation with like the arbor in the world, like no one's really exercising yeah, as much okay. as they should be. They're not. They're being pretty stagnant and stuff like that. Like this guy literally had to jury rig a suit so that way he could run around in VR. Like li- literally, look, he's, he this boy's got a treadmill just so he can run around. So like that's that that was their excuse for why he uh yeah that 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 was their excuse for why he's not fat because in the book he didn't have that. Oh okay yeah. The Omni treadmill is a cool idea though. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, it's a thing. It's already a thing. No, no, I know, exactly. That's why I think it's cool. Except it's not in that shape. It's like a weird, like... Like, cl- like a bowl yeah, or a bowl dome. That you, like, slide around. Anyways, whoa, whoa, what happened? Anyways, welcome to Minecraft. Minec- wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the Oasis. It's really? Minecraft. <laughs> what are you... Are you, are you... Why are you questioning this stuff? Oh, perfect. Is that Mario Galaxy? Dude, I wish... Dude, paragliders for the N64. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. This is uh Twister. Uh I This is ice. NHL. Yeah, that was <laughs> NHL on horses. That was water polo on ice. Not going to lie. This is a fun shot. It is. This is all over the place. Oh, there's Batman. <laughs> Uh, the guy's not old enough to go into the sex ha, motel. Ha, ha. Bro, I know he's fucking masturbated with his VR headset. Everyone not not using has. the not using the VR headset. Where are the references? There's the flash. There's Battletoads. There's Robocop. Oh. There's Marvin Martian. This is uh, VR chat. Yeah, it's no, this is that's yes. <laughs> this is VR chat the movie. <laughs> the straight VR chat. No, there's, oh, there's Tracer. Tracer. Oh yeah. I did hear about the sex scene with Tracy. Dude, we're not going to talk about that until it happens. Hello, Kitty. Oh, my gosh. Honestly, every time. Those are like 30 year old men. Every every time I watch this, every time I watch this movie, I I always spot a new character. I'm just like, how the fuck did they get the rights for this? I remember when this movie was first getting made. They they straight up said uh, that it was a nightmare because of all the. All the stuff they had to get. Planet Doom and there's not a Doom reference in here. Uh, Well, there's Freddy. And there's a guy from Dead Space. Oh. Uh, I'm, is this Doom Planet? Yeah, that's what he just said. Oh, okay. Hello, there's Duke Nukem. Du- yeah, I was about to say, is that Duke Nukem? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I... <laughs> there's so much happening in this movie at any single time. I feel like we could Didn't literally... did Steven Spielberg direct this? Yeah. I mean, it's, Beautiful. A, it's a very Spielberg film. I, I will say that. Is that Deadshot? I don't know. I feel <laughs> like literally this entire commentary track could be like pointing out references. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, really? Okay, I guess I'll talk a little bit then. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I, I, I really wish they would have stuck to the book. Is that Shredder? Probably. Mm-hmm. The Ninja Turtles are in this movie. That's What's the, that a reference to? What? Is that a reference to anything? Yeah, that's a reference to Warhammer. Oh, okay. Um, but no, I, I, I really do wish they would have stuck a little bit more to the book. Oh my god, dude, that's called- That's so fucking funny. Oh, bye-bye. Dude, that's like child abuse. That's bad parenting. Hell yeah. Those are some nice campers. Oh, Jason Voorhees. Are those Mortal Kombat characters? No. All, all the main characters uh, have their own custom avatars. Or, no, those ninjas. Or are those the main characters? No, those aren't main characters, but they are characters. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. there's Leo. Oh, was it, was it where? He just where? he just passed, but... All sad. Yeah, no. I... I, I... Hi, Simon Pegg. Uh, how's it going? But no, I, I really wish this would have stuck more to the book just for the sole fact that the book started off on such an awesome, like, note. Like, in the book, the characters actually, like, Oasis is literally government-issued because there's no way, there's too many children and people to have schools. 
So literally in the Oasis, the, the tutorial planet you're supposed to start out on is a school planet. Oh, and you okay. have to graduate to get out of that planet. Interesting. And uh, so, like again, I think the world is a lot cooler than the like actual. Mo- oh yeah, like, no book or movie. Yeah, no. But uh, the movie literally started out with him fucking trolling the whole world. Yeah, this is literally how this book starts. It literally describes this. But yeah, then yeah, he just trolls the whole world. He didn't really die. No, this is his video saying, "I'm gonna die." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, this wasn't. This is supposed to be in the Oasis. Look I at see. Them. They're all fucking crying. They're sad no. boy hours. No. I mean, sad kid hours. Look, if fucking Todd Howard died when I was in eighth grade when Skyrim came out, I would not know who the fuck that was. Yeah, no, I was about to say that. I was like, I literally, you're, I thought you were leading up to I would cry too, and I was about to be like, I would have no fucking clue who no, that I is. No, I wouldn't know who the fuck that was. <laughs> like, it wasn't until the past few years that I learned who that was. Or who I, like, learned, like, game developers and stuff like that. Yeah. Three keys. And by that, I mean the three movies that this should have been. Literally, each one, each each of those keys could have been a, a full-fledged uh, book. Or, sorry, movie. Cause in th- Besides the Hunger Games, like, these, like, preteen novels never really pan out very well. Well, I guess Harry Potter. This one panned out pretty well. Well, you know what I mean, like... Oh. Um, I'm thinking of like, I was really into Cirque de Freak and, um, which was like a vampire series and that came out with the movie and yeah. that was fucking awful. I have actually, I've never heard of it. And then like the Maze Runner. Oh yeah. Maze Runner. R.I.P. Oh, we finally Here hit the title go. sequence. Here we are in the film. We're doing good things. They didn't do any crazy like CGI for the title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, they just c- cut the black text. I like it, though. Very very minimalist. I think it kind of like, it almost kind of fits the vibe by not fitting the vibe. <laughs> you sure, man? <laughs> oh, wow. Straight into the race. Yeah, no. It it literally takes like three chapters in the book to three? finally, for finally someone to find the bird. They're speed racer. Yeah. But no, it takes like three chapters in the book for them to finally figure out the first hint for the first key. Yeah. And it's not, uh, let me tell you, it's not a fucking race. <laughs> was it not a race in the no, movie? There's no, no, this is completely, this is for the movie. This was not in the book. Were there people like this? Yes. Okay. Th- these are the evil people. They're all the same number, though. No. That's the company. They're, they're the IOI. Their they're numbers oh. are six digits that are Oh, forehead. I thought it was 101. I was confused. I think it's IOI. Yeah. There okay. you go. Told you. <coughs> Bigfoot. Bro, I didn't know he was real. Bro, what can you guess what car he's going to use? It's the DeLorean, I bet. I don't know what he just said. Something? About Mary hair- Hairdo? I thought he said married hairdo. I was like, what? Wait, I just realized a little tiny fact. This wasn't the car he was going to throw out. He was literally looking at a faster car, decided it wasn't good enough. Or he was out of fuel, so he throws out the DeLorean instead? What car was he going to put out? Bro, I will say, though, this is probably the best car for this race, because if he messes up, he can just go back in time and redo it. Easy peasy. I wish peasy. they would actually exploit that, though. I don't know. We well, may it's, see. It's just like any game. Any, these are all cosmetics. They don't alter the game. 
Well, I mean, they could. It could be like Mario Kart, where certain cars are faster than other cars, but like, or also just like I don't know. When I think of a video game movie, I kind of also think of shit like Sword Art, where uh, oh yeah, where your main character just somehow has. Hey, some... look! It's the Akira bike. Whoa! Wow! Crazy! Oh, is, that, is that the reference there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anime. Anime. This movie's for anime, dude. We went from anime month to video game month, but we're still in anime month. Oh, in our look hearts. at that. Light, light transition. Yeah, I hope I hope you're I hope you're ready for uh like 15 minutes of this because that's that's all this is. Just fucking cars driving around. Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah. Oh my god! You know, I remember when this movie was first. You think this is any of this is practical? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What I was gonna say. Well, that's what I was gonna say is when this movie was announced to be done, I was like, how are they gonna do this? Because there's so many, because, I mean, this wasn't in the book, but, like... So many fantastical yeah, set pieces. Yeah, there's so many fantastical set pieces, and then they announced that it was going to be, like, all 3D, and it was like, oh, I don't know if I want a 3D animated movie for this. And then they were like, oh, no, wait, some of it's in live action. It's just the video game parts are in 3D. And I was like, oh, so it's like Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. Bro. <laughs> That's fresh, fresh. Quit, quit faking us with these like handheld quote unquote zooms. Oh yeah, when you die, you uh you blow up into coins. And oh, and it turns into fuel. Well, you can spend coins on anything, but yes, he did need fuel. Oh okay. Oh, that's what he was talking about. So that was the car he was he planning on he, throwing out. Yeah, he, he, said was he was gonna get scrapped uh, for coins. Yeah. Oh. Oh, suck it up. Look at that! He was almost full. Hell yeah! Wait, Jack Slat, Jack Slat. Uh, I don't know what that said. Welcome Jurassic to Jurassic Park. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude, if you don't move, it can't see you. Stop moving! But then they'll lose the race, bro. I don't. Oh well, oh, that's King awkward. <laughs> <laughs> also, can I, I, I like to think that they just used all the models from like the recent movies? They went on fucking Turbo Squid and just, and just grabbed all the free shit. Also, like they, they it, grabbed the model from like uh, what is it, Kong Island, and then yeah, like the. Oh Batmobile. oh, Batmobile. Oh, Batman's actually in it. Oh, bye-bye, Batman. <laughs> no, but uh, is it kind of... It's kind of weird that this doesn't have any music, right? Yeah. I uh, like... Or, like, kind of, like, action score or anything like that. Well, what was so cool about the book is that, literally, it, it gave almost a, a soundtrack to it. It would say what the the characters were listening to, and someone made, like, a Spotify playlist where that literally, you could listen to yeah, while, you could listen to it while while reading, and like it would auto pause after every song until you got uh, to a new one, and then you could continue playing. Balls. She's going for it. She's going for it. Just you, you literally just had to like scoot over. Well, no, she's gonna use those railroads as a fucking. Oh, hello. But is yeah, no, she was going to use the... Part of it, are, they, are they part of the same clan or something? No. You could just tell that she wasn't going to make it, and she's a very famous video gamer called Artemis. Oh. But spelled in leet speak. So it's like 4 R T three R. Whatever. <laughs> Bro, you don't speak leet? I don't speak gamer. I don't speak gamer. You know how much that is going to cost me in repairs? Completely fake coins. That's only an economy in this game. I, you know how I many microtransactions I'm going to have to do now? <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know how many credit cards I'm going to have to open to pay off this? Bro, I don't give a fuck what you say. The second you have a video game like this, it's. I'm upset that you told me that this is fucking <laughs> Leprechaun, the fucking Japanese Megazord from Spider Man, and now it's the fucking place <laughs> with the Iron Giant. Giant. Yeah, no. Someone also made a very good point to me too. What's up? It's the Iron Giant. He's supposed to be like peaceful, and they're using him as oh, like this war giant bot. fucking war yeah war bot. <laughs> He 
Use the Megazord. Bro, actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Megazord's in this. Perfect movie. Then out of ten. Dude, you literally, there's not a way for this movie not to be perfect. Because it's animated. It has, <laughs> it has references, bro. It has properties that you like, therefore you cannot dislike this movie. Exactly. Because that's how it works. Everything's a fucking reference. <laughs> there fucking is not, references, you, round references on bro, fucking you, you references. Bro, can pa- you can pause this movie on any frame and find at least six references to other things that aren't this movie. Take a shot every time you see a reference. <laughs> Take a shot every time you see a reference. Bro, like, we've made some pretty bad drinking games in our days watching this shit, but, like, that, what you just said, that's, that's how you get, that's how you die. <laughs> yeah, that's straight up dead dead. <laughs> I will say I like how all the characters skin in this game, like if you really look at it, is actually made up of uh, polygons. Like whenever there's a close up, their pores are polygons. That is cool. That's a neat little touch. Bro, there are no mansions. There is lit. There. (sighs) Bro, that's invasive. Also, her heart rate is 57. He's that's like fucking, dying. That is straight impressive. Mine sits like between 65 and 75 constantly. The fact that yeah. her, hers were in the 50s is wild. Mine's in the 50s when I'm asleep. She's in virtual reality where literally her brain's getting so much stimulus and her heartbeat is not above like sleeping level. Most, the most calm under pressure. How, bro, that was the quickest. I swear there was there had to have been a hotkey that just said repair, and it's just like click. It was click. like a it's like a skill check that you had to do. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> oh, I see. Because he was driving the, the, the DeLorean. Yeah, dude. I almost said the McLorean. <laughs> uh oh. And out. You want to know what's kind of confusing about that, though? Is that he left his house to go to a van that had a setup in it. How was his mom talking to him? Oh, were these like... I didn't hear what you said. I was watching the ad. Are those for like the good suits? Yeah. The crazy suits where like if you get punched in the game, you feel it. Oopsies. Bro, dysfunctional families always lead to a good story. Wait, so... (laughs) (laughs) What's up, microtransactions? What's going on? (laughs) Oh my god. So that was a... Wait, that is a real thing? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, no, how how did, how did, I, uh, what I was saying when you were watching the ad is how did the mom ask him where her gloves are when he was in a van, like, yeah, 200 feet away? Like, can, can you just, like, calm in and be like, dude, dude, does she have administrator privileges on, on, on his account? Is that how that works? Parental advisory? Fucking blue, bro. W.W. Superhero names always alliterate. Hey, can you not do your zipper thing? I like it. I like doing the zipper thing. Bro, oh my god. I swear, one day I'm going to give all the audio to you so you can fix it. (laughs) (laughs) That'll be a great sounding podcast. Also, uh, tell us if you like our new microphones. We've been using them for a few episodes now. We're we're slowly getting all the... The kinks worked out of them. How we want to actually like equalize them and all that nonsense, make them sound just, pretty. I guess for my sake, just getting used to like a dynamic mic because normally I could kind of move around a bit more. 
Well, you're not technically supposed to. I know, <laughs> but I, I, I With a condenser, you could. You, you still weren't supposed to. This one's just tighter. So it's, it's yeah, it's just really hard. You can play games within games? Whoa, bro! Did you not see that giant race sequence? <laughs> well, that was like a level in the game, but you could straight up just play other video games. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, this was kind of in the, the, the book, except it was just from his own, like, knowledge. He didn't have a giant, like, museum of Holiday's life. Yeah. Holiday had it all in his head, or, like, this dude knew all about Holiday? Oh, no, they just, they just programmed it all. Oh. So, like, they basically remade his life in the game. See, that stuff's cool. The fact that all this is real stuff, this isn't CG, and they, you can just move around. You know how they shot that, right? Uh, I, I mean... They, pro- they literally... Well, there, there's two ways that this could have happened. A, they had a giant, like, semicircle of cameras shooting the outside so that way in post they could literally just stitch them all together and make that move. So, are, like, how is this CGI is in, like, there are no models there doing mocap or there are actual actors and there's a set? Oh, for the characters in the game or these? or the? Well, I know that's, like, all live action right yeah. there. But, like, in the game, is it, like, mocapped and yeah and big yeah. set? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. Because for a sec, I thought, like, all that was completely CG. No, yeah. No, I was talking about Completely how they, CG I was talking about how they were doing those cool like left and right camera things yeah. where they were moving out throughout the live action scene. Oh, you, how they like rotating it in that yeah. sense. Oh, you yeah, I see what you're saying having a bunch of cameras in like a semicircle. Yeah. I thought you were saying to get that weird perspective it's on the It's either that windows. or they asked them to freeze perfectly still and then just had a camera on a giant giant like slider and just like ran. <laughs> Or the, one of those automated robot things. I was fidgeting with my fucking dude. Zipper again. <laughs> I didn't, I'm just gonna unzip my jacket so it's like not at my chest where I can fiddle with it. Bro, did you get that crazy, massive, like, uh... Hint, hint? that he has to go backwards? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really good, ain't it? Bro, she just straight up... Is this Alita Battle out. Angel? See, look at all the polygons. Is this Alita Battle Angel? Yes or no? Oh, wait. Uh, yes? Wait, didn't, Sp- wait. Uh, didn't Spielberg also direct that? Did he? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Spielberg did that. Peace Why out. do you have to open your door for that, homie? Because uh, the flux capacitor is behind him. He can't see. He don't have a rear view. <laughs> Straight up. Cannot see out the back of that car. He's in third person, so it makes it a lot easier, actually. Yeah, he, he's playing this fucker like an Uncharted game. I'm like... He's in the code. <laughs> oh, it's just like a straight shot. Oh, no, there's a turn. <laughs> and he made a left turn. I, I do like how he's really, like, in the infrastructure. He's just, he's just chilling. That fucking girl's just gonna fucking zip, zip past him, though. <clears throat> I feel like. Uh. Like, she turned around noticing him. Yeah, she turned around and noticed that he was not there. Or turned around and noticed that he was stopped. I don't think she ever saw that he went backwards. Oh, okay. Hell yeah! I like the, uh... The NPCs forgot to load in. <laughs> Straight up. 
Say hello, hello. Random glitches like that are always the funniest. Oh, or shit just doesn't load in. Yeah. Bro, I love... I will say, like, say what you will about CGI. I love the little particle effect that's happening on his, like, robe and shit, where it's not fully loading in. It's just a bunch of, like, cubes, like, trying to find their place. Yeah. Like, no, uh, it is cool. CGI is such a fun thing. It's just, it can really look shit. Hell yeah! Look at him! Top of the top! That's right. You point out the flaws. Uh, but in the book, the first key takes forever to do. And then he, he figures out a very, like, I don't remember how he figures out a hint, but he figures out a hint. I just love, like, each shot they cut to is, like, the slow dolly push in. Oh. But, uh, but no, the way to get to the first key was he actually had to go to his hometown. So it was similar to that museum, except there is literally a planet in the game that was just childhood Halliday's hometown. Oh, And okay. you had to go into his room, and there was, like, a, a certain video game that you had to play and get to, and, uh, or maybe it wasn't a video game. I think if you went to his room and it was, like, a poster or something you had to touch, and it would send you to a secret level that you had to beat to get the key. Oh, okay. But it took months. No, actually, I think it took years. No, think about it. I literally think this movie does not have music most of the time because the music they did get cost so much to get and then they had all these references like Ryu in the background. Oh, there's Tracer again. There's Borderlands. Borderlands Halo. Wait a second. This is Video Game Central. Well, this is like where you get all your skins. Dungeon of Dragons. Let's see what else we can see. What other properties? Rubik's Cube? Oh, wait. Nope. Uh-oh. Real world pickup. Oh, my God. He's got the fucking sex suit. He's got it. He's got it. Bro, have you ever felt sick-ass latex against your skin? Because guess Oculus. what, buddy boy? You got really outdid Dude, he yourself. just came. Oh my god. As goofy. <laughs> fucking stupid. Looks like a dumb ass. Take the Bro, fucking suit why you, off. Why are you wearing the cool ass suit if you're just gonna sit in a chair? Take the stupid fucking like actual like businessman suit off. Fucking idiot. He didn't even put on those glasses right. Or yeah, he didn't even put those glasses on right. That's fucking funny. The, the little His avatar is Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah. I love it. Big big boss man. It's like Clark Kent, except without glasses. It's like Clark Kent and the Hulk. Grey Hulk. Specifically. Is that the mumbo jumbo? Bro, you don't even know so. Hey, TJ Miller. Is there a reason for the scene to be happening? This movie is oddly quiet. I keep thinking about it. it. Like I keep the more I watch this movie, the more I'm like, wow, this is really like there is a little bit of score here, but it's like very quiet. It's it's kind of it's it's kind of odd. I really wish that they were didn't like 
I don't know. Like, say that, like, that's an avatar. Or make a point to show that that's an avatar. I really wish that that was just a human in this world. <laughs> Wait, what? I wish that Halliday's avatar, or not Halliday, that dude's avatar was yeah. just, like, a human in the, their world. Oh, he, like, modeled himself. Yeah, like, he, in. he really looks like that. Hell, that would be funny. No, the only difference like is... like a young Ron, Ron Perlman. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, to to further reiterate, I wish in the virtual world his eyes glowed blue slash white like they are, but in the fucking real world, they were just a shit brown. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, That's so funny. You can n- wait. Oh. Also, second fun fact: Parzival was number one on the board for like another ten months. No one could ever figure out how he solved it. Damn, Skippy. Let me read the scroll. The Elder Scroll. You are a dumb bitch. Bro, Halliday's a bit rude, ain't he? It's the Konami code. A, A, B, B, up, down, up, down. C, A, A, R, oh, never mind. I take it all back. I don't know what this movie is trying to tell me. Is the Konami code like a thing, though? Yeah, it's, the... a, it's up, down, up, down, left, right, well, left, right. Well, of course, A-B, that's A-B, like a real thing. I meant in the movie or in the book. I'm pretty sure they make a reference to it in the movie and the book. I thought it was like a key to one or a, a fuck, what am I thinking of? I, uh, maybe a hint or like a clue to one of the keys. Not that I remember. Then again, yeah, I read the book so many years ago. I honestly, I don't remember what all, happened. All the crazy details, because I don't. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, bro, this is where fucking uh Parzival gets his uh IQ boner. <laughs> You know, most teenage boys have a wall of naked ladies, posters, and all that stuff. Uh, Parzival, on the other hand... Yeah, wait, that's that the Arkham a, Knight. Yeah, wait a second, that's Beetlejuice. Or Beetlegeist. Or however you want to say it. I wish we could pause this movie, but I know that'd fuck up the recording. <laughs> I just, oh, Goro. Goro. Laura Croft. What the hell? Oh my god, it's like Alien! Oh, oh wait, it was Alien. <laughs> I forgot about that. What? Bro. That was all for references! <laughs> that was literally all for a reference! Like, two of them! Put on. Stupid. Oh, would you like stripes or solids? Oh, you're wearing that. It's weird. I made a made a Clark Kent joke recently, and uh, look, it came true. Bro, look, I get it. This fucking. Ah, God, I. Spicy nacho? Uh, I don't know. I feel like this this movie literally does not give me time to like think of jokes and quips just for the sole fact that it just goes so fast. There's no time to stop and, like, smell the roses. It's like, go. Wait, we're only 30 or 40 minutes 
yeah. something like that into the movie, and he's already gotten the first key, and he's halfway to the second one, basically. What the fuck is gonna? Ha- oh, whatever. I'm Bro, not. I'm not gonna know. ask questions. Let's go. Like, I this is this is my my point to why this should have been three movies. Is that like I I don't know. There was just there's so much information in the book that makes it a good like kind of mystery type deal that this movie does not have. This movie. Like- or like a mystery to the Easter like, egg, yeah, like, like, like it's legitimately trying to find like an Easter egg in a video game. Yes, because that's how in saying. the book that's how he describes it is that the yeah, keys no, are it, basically Easter eggs. It's like the biggest Easter egg in all of like yeah, video games. Yeah, but from what you've explained to me before, I've been playing a lot of fucking Black Ops zombies lately. So yeah. Easter eggs been on my mind because all those have fucking giant yeah kung. But, okay, but convoluted but Easter no, eggs. The the difference between the book and the movie is that this the movie makes the the super secret key hunt almost into like a video game tutorial. Like I never feel like the characters are figuring out anything. It's just they're getting waypoint they they're getting waypoints on their map. It'd be like go here for I your I just first noticed hit. his fucking belt has Thundercats. <sighs> Dude, the the movie's a reference to a reference to a reference, man. I don't know how much you're expecting. So she she was on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they called gamer tags on fucking PlayStation? No. I think they're just your username, I believe. Is it just username? I don't know. I'm going to look that up real quick just cuz I'm curious. Is gamer tag a Xbox yeah, term? Yeah. Cuz I was about to say like what what's I feel like you could also ask for gamer tag on Steam too. I mean, technically, uh, your username's also your gamer tag. So, wait, did he just say Kira? No, I can keep it. From what I'm finding, Gamertag is uh, Xbox, because as soon as I search in Gamertag, I can't find anything for anything else. Well, is it trademarked? Is there a, is there a website I can look that up at? I have no clue. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it could be trademarked by Microsoft. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is uh, a way. There's like a website. Bro, what a fucking square... Leave them fucking hanging. Whereas like the that. millennials say, okay, boomer. Yeah, they weren't saying that in this fucking movie. Bro, Purple Rain! Oh, Thriller? Bro, this is how I feel every time I'm playing a video game with costumes. Just, I do, I do agree with that. I'm just going that through. I'm just I'm going through straight up being like, uh, this one for this occasion. What about this one? Uh, this one, and it literally does not matter. I'll <laughs> either do one or two things: find a suit that I really like, or a costume We're that I really the like. Same thing. Talking about Spider Man, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Spider Man's the well, best game for well, that. Where what you suit can, am like, I gonna swing around in today? <laughs> well, like you start getting into semantics. It's like, oh, I'm it. I'm at like a, I'm doing a darker or a mission at night. Better put on like the symbiote or the stealth suit or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Even though that doesn't affect anything. Oh in that yeah, day. no. <laughs> Especially yeah. since as soon as you unlock the suit and the suit power, the suit power instantly becomes just a uh, like. It a, goes a perk to any other yeah, suit. Yeah, it can become any other suit's perk, and it's just like oh. But if you switch away from Web Blossom, then you're just wrong. I'm glad somebody agrees with me. <laughs> Dude, the internet agrees with us. Really? Yes. That's <laughs> literally the first thing my friend said as soon as he saw that I was playing Spider-Man was, uh, are you using Web Blossom? And I was like, yeah, how'd you know? And he's like, that's literally on everyone's top 10 like lists for what's good or what power Deadpool? are good. Yeah, Deadpool and Harley Quinn. Oh. Once again, pause the movie, count the references, take a shot. 
Bro, where are your fucking glasses? Where are the references? I need more of them. Bro. Oh. Is that Chappie back there? They showed up to Cats before Cats. <laughs> and it looks cats better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That cleavage is a bit uncomfortable. Uh, well, you know, that's a... That's kind of a... That's <laughs> that a was a furry. Choice. That was a furry in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Croft just walked up. Bro, I swear. Oh, there's Harley Quinn. And. Hey, Puddin. Hey, Puddin. Bro, this is just like the scene from Suicide Squad where. (laughs) 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 Exact. (laughs) Bro, you could have just found an empty booth. Battletoads. I didn't even see him. It fucking moved so fast. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I see the battle toad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're fucking gross. They look like Michael Bay's Ninja Turtles. <laughs> that joke made when they came out. What? That they look like battle toads. No, it was more they look like Shrek. <laughs> oh, I could see that. Um, fun. For, I I actually just recently watched like a history video of all the failed Ninja Turtle movies. I kind of want to watch that video. That sounds very interesting. Yeah, no, it was like a deep dive into like Wikipedia articles and like random posts from the original Ninja Turtles creator. There was like a movie planned for, there was a Hallmark movie. There was a Ninja Turtles Hallmark movie planned. Oh, that's great. But uh, yeah, no, there was like a giant, uh, it was like a history video of Ninja Turtle movies that have failed. And apparently there's one... Literally the people who, uh, oh, what did they produce? You talking about CGI earlier, I really love the effect going on with her dress right now. Oh, yeah. Just cool shit you can do. Sorry to cut you off there. Bro, he's straight up gonna fucking... He straight up picked a fucking... He he just threw out an emote. He just threw out an emote. <laughs> they both have the same emote. They got the same, e- uh, like, emote per- or, uh, pack. This is just reminding me of Devil May Cry. Tracer, Wait, yes! This is just Devil May Cry 5. And We're getting you can't closer tell me to that scene, else. bros. Dude, I can't wait for the sex! Between Tracer and I, I just, I just want to see... Wait, was that the Joker? I think that was the Joker. But I I just want to... I just want to see... Uh, I just want to see Tracer like rewind time so she can orgasm again and again. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you have seen that on something. I know that you. I don't. I know that you don't even like Overwatch, but I know that that's something you've seen. You did not. Dude, think that I can up. raise. My, not think I, that can, I can raise my head in the air and say, "Swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up." <laughs> I'll, I will pinky promise you that I just made you that. You better up. fucking copyright that for <laughs> fucking millions, dude. Quote me on our fucking group chat. They'll know. <laughs> Dude, I'll do it here. I'll I'll type it out in our group chat just real quick. Let's see. What I say? What were we talking? I I, I want to see Tracer use her. What's her power called? Is it called the time shift power? Oh, what's it called? Give me a second. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll leave it blank, and then you can tell me. Go to go back in time to relive the same blink or. Oh, cool. Her blink power to relive the same orgasm (laughs) (laughs) this is awful (laughs) and over and out it's up (laughs) done and done wait what's happening right here uh he's trying to hit on her she's turning him down oh bad news bears in all honesty shot down Like the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me crying in the club right now. <laughs> got me dying in the club. 
Bro, she straight up hold a John. She she got a she fully automatic in her she fucking, fucking pocket. Pressed Y, bro. <laughs> I forget this is VR. They don't have keyboards <laughs> or controllers. Yeah, I was, I was about like, to say, where's the Y button? Where, where's the Y button on your hand? <laughs> Dude, that one, does make me question, like, how do you do that that quickly? Bro, I once, feel like you'd have to go through some menus a little bit before once, you pull once, out a gun. Once <laughs> VR gets to the point where it reads your mind to know what you want to do, like, I want my, like, M19, I want my PP90 or whatever. Like, as soon as it does that, that's when I know that the human race has failed. Oh my... Bro! The mumbo gun. You got the, <laughs> the mumbo gun, gun straight up firing skulls. Dude, he's... No. He's straight up firing death. Yo. Wait a second. This bitch got Halo armor. I wish my Rubik's Cube Wait. did that. But why didn't it turn her back in 60 seconds? Yeah, why didn't she go back in time? Isn't it only supposed to affect the user? Well, maybe they're in the same party. <sighs> Bro, Bro, don't don't point out semantics like that. Yes, it is. It is quite <laughs> literally is. It is, in fact, a video game. Yes, but this is also a video game. Bro, I need to fucking oil my microphone arm. It's straight, it's straight up sound. It's like before I got this chair. <laughs> and it's just like as soon as you sat in and all you could hear was like... Bro, you know what I want? I just want up desk, so we could like get so, so we, we can do all the standing up. Yeah, so then as soon as we sit down, all the alcohol settles on our stomachs, and we really <laughs> get fucked up. <laughs> we stand up for the movie talk, and then we sit down for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My back. Oh, you turned me down a little bit. That's what it is. Yeah, no, because yeah, you can you can see. I I can see. I can see the levels. Yeah, don't mean to talk about the details of our. Bro, let's recording. talk about the details. Uh, currently, we're running into a Behringer UMC four hundred four. You or sorry, is that is that the is that right? The, I know it's a Be Behringer, but uh, I don't it's know the Behringer. Like, let's see, it's the Be test yourself real quick. It's the Behringer Euphoria UMC four hundred four HD. I forgot oh, that it was thought, high definition. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the mics. So I didn't. I forgot oh, that. these are Behringer XM A O two fives. I didn't even realize that your uh, the audio interface you have is uh, also Behringer. Yeah, they bought Midas, which please, is a please sponsor us, Behringer. Please sponsor <laughs> us. We literally my studio speakers are Behringer, my audio interface is Behringer, my microphones are Behringer. Uh, I don't think you guys sell audio cables, but if you do, we'd buy them. Yeah, we buy them. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Behringer sponsor our podcast. Yes, we're please. a little vulgar, but I think it fits your brand. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no. Uh, it's all it's all semantics, really. Feel see, I feel like they are wanting these shots to be smoother. But in the in the three they ran stuff, out. They ran out of dolly track. Well, they ran out of dolly track, and also like all the budget went to the uh, fake camera shake in the. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, they got the Wii car down there. We would like to play. Is that the phrase? Was Everyone the phrase? fucking drives smart cars in this world. They're electric cars. Literally, it's only a one-seater car. The rest is taken up by battery. Metal seed? Is that what was on his fucking hat? I, I wish he's in. I wish I could tell you. Fucking extreme, whatever it is. From Nolan Sorrento, Parzival, I'd like to make you an offer. You will get everything you want, including Holiday's Egg. To enter chat, please touch the prism. Well, if you're synced up, you know. If if you didn't see that message on your screen that whole time I was reading that, 
I don't know what you've been watching, but I'm glad you've lasted an, uh, 55 minutes into this film. Same. <laughs> Good job. Um, okay, can I just... Also, say- I want, before, really quick. Yeah. A VR headset, I feel like you would not be able to read by just looking down at it. Dude, this is... I know this is the quote-unquote the future. Yeah, whatever. this is straight up future VR. I guess it like I guess the fucking screen knows when the headset's off, so it turns into a full screen, and then when you put the headset on, it like does the two eye shit. Yeah, I don't know. Bro, how about you stop giving me backhanded compliments and we start this fucking session? Look, I got Tracer right over here. <laughs> <laughs> got Tracer, Bro, Master you were a kid. Look at the background. Look at all those guys. <laughs> Who would leave their fucking password on a fucking sticky note right there, you fucking... A boomer. That too. You know what? That's actually... <laughs> <laughs> I, my fucking grandpa and fucking my mom, grandpa and grandma do the same. And my fucking shit. parents fucking do the same shit where they'll just have a sticky note with their fucking passwords. Yeah, no, so my, actually my, that, my grandma. I'm not gonna question that. I'm my not grandmother that. and my parents both have like notebooks hidden away in like a safe box that has all their passwords written on it. Uh, my grandparents, they're smart people, but as far as that comes, they're not that smart about it. I'm sorry. Also, the, was that just an insert of an actual controller for this VR headset? I thought he had the gloves that allowed him to do, like, fine mobility. <laughs> Wait, they referenced the original tutorial plan Wait, at Ludus. What? Wait, they went to the same high school? Ferris Bueller and the Breakfast Club? Is that a universe? Is that canon? What? (laughs) 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 What, you don't like when your geek squad's giving you answers like that? I like to think that that's like how uh, boomers talk, is that they have like some millennial in their fucking ear. (laughs) I mean, like you say this. Make sure you're uh, with one with the youth. Not in my heart, he's not. Wait, is a holiday expert called a uh, holologist or an oologist? What? Wait. <coughs> Bro, you really need to. Ever since you got that surgery that reversed your intestines so you poop out your mouth and eat it in your asshole, you've really been having some issues. I know, but ever since that episode of South Park, I just think it's like the. Wait, the is that most- a thing? Did I not? I was about to raise my hand and solemnly swear on God again that I made that up. <laughs> <coughs> I feel like any time I have a funny comedy idea, South Park made it. That's funny because there's a whole episode of South Park that, that like deals with that premise, but like the Simpsons did it. God damn it! <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's a whole South Park episode where like people learn to like shove food up their ass and they shit out their mouth. Damn. (coughs) Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. He ain't sorry. 
Roro Raggy hitting Jules on a cold. Bro, Not don't a talk about good idea. Don't talk about Jules. Hey, as long as you're above the age of twenty one, you can jewel. <laughs> I love how literally like three months ago you could have said that, but you you'd say eighteen. <laughs> yep. Rest in peace. Do they actually ID you now? I have been ID'd since then, yeah. Really? Yeah. Crazy. But, I mean, I still get ID'd for fucking buying alcohol, though. I am only 21. Well, yeah, but... Wait, you're only 21? Well, I'm about to turn 20. Bro, I'm old. You're only a few months older than me, homie. Bro, a few months is old. That's like owning any kind of technology. Wait, how'd he get a suit? Oh, so he just died. Yeah. He died. Papa and Mama went, uh, bye-bye. <laughs> they said, uh, Wait, peace out, so Girl Scout. He was looking at a picture of, like, Simon Pegg and another girl. Is that not, are they not related at all? Wait, what? main character was looking at like a picture of Simon Pegg and like a girl. Yeah. Are they not related at all? To him or? Yeah. No. Okay. That, I told you most teenage boys have like posters of naked women on, on their wall. He has Holiday and all his friends. Oh, okay. Okay. They still have the same like. What the fuck? They what still the have the same uh, cum coverage. That dude but... looks straight to the camera. That's okay. Oh, he's still doing it. Okay. As you can see, it was meant to be. Because what this movie's trying to tell us is that we're in a video game. This is all a simulation. Wait. This is the resistance. Wait. Bro, you know I have a thing for redheads, all right? So let me just say, this little, like, emo, like, swoosh well, that's just, happening. That's just so she can hide her scar. What are you talking about? Spoiler alert. What are you talking about? Because she can't. I knew, I know, like, a big complaint of this movie, again, like, talking about how, like, I think the girl was, like, overweight, or I don't know if she's overweight. Wait, but she wasn't like eventually attracted and stuff like that. Oh yeah, did and I then, explain that? It it and then like her her big thing here is like the scar. That little that yeah, scar. And you know face. I have a thing for people with scars. <laughs> 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 no, did I ever finish that explanation at the beginning of the movie? That it would make a whole lot of sense in this kind of epidemic that people that wore VR headsets constantly would be obese. Yeah. Cause cause, every, everyone in the book is obese. No, I think it 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 seems to me like in the book it's almost like a Wally universe. Yeah. Where like everyone Well, over- when he gets the first key and gets his payout, he the first thing he buys, I believe, is the treadmill. And then when he finds the second key, he buys the suit. Oh, okay. But then at that point he's at he's here where he's like on the run, so he's not able to eat or anything, and then he becomes like anemic. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. He goes uh, Parzival goes through a lot of uh goes through a lot of change from the in the book. Also, can you tell me how long this, like, day-wise in the film it's been? Because to me personally, it feels like this has taken place over maybe a week. Maybe. It's like a week? And that's a hard maybe. Like, this like, could this could have literally happened in three to four days. That's what I was about to say. I was going to say three days. Yeah, no. It's just, it's wild to me how how there is no sense of time in this film. When that is such a huge, huge part in the book is time and how long it takes to to uh find all these Easter eggs to solve these hints and stuff like that. Oh my god, they're gonna kiss this soon? They haven't even reached the tracer what? sex scene yet. What if she's tracer? And he puts on the Bro, Deadpool skin. They just do it in a they just do in a back to the future reference. They did that little brrr-dunk. 
Strap me in. Akira? Wait, I didn't even know. Is this a JoJo of. reference or a Death, Death Note, Note reference? <laughs> Wait, is there Akira in JoJo? Yeah, he's like a main villain. Bro, I can't stand when you talk weep to me. Can we take that away? I like how all, I get it. We uh, just VR, gotta... I like how all the VR headsets have like Batman logos on them because his did too. Did they? Yeah, I don't remember. The bro, bitch is a movie buff. He went to film school. Do what? He's tra- holiday. Watched a lot of movies in a singular weekend. Oh. And down we go. I will say, I'm. Wait, does this happen in the book? I remember people saying like this is one of the better scenes from the movie. Oh yeah, no, I. This is this is fun. You're really gonna like this. Cause this is when it really gets weird of what's real and what's uh oh, what's wow. CG. That's, <laughs> like that's footage from the movie. It looks like. Yeah. Like the way it's... Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, no, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Okay. (laughs) This is cool. Or is it all CG? I can't tell. Exactly, my man. Like, did is it all CG and they just added the film grain on top, or... I know, like, this probably had to be that, but, like... Some of those wides, I can't tell if they were. Yeah, but the thing movie. is, is that the walls and the chairs and like the lights the way, and everything. The way the texture. Yeah, they're so good, like so good. If it's CG, I commend them for. Like that ball CG. Yeah, it's but I CG. I could not tell you if this entire room is CG or not. I would fully believe that they shot in this hotel and just added the character elements. I could see that, like them. <laughs> uh oh you're gonna start the scare oh they even went in slow motion too god I love a good fluid s- a fluid simulation. Oh, look at that. Yes. It's on the camera. The camera's an object. Oh, my God. Bro, how was that bitch holding up to this giant orc body? It didn't, though. Oh. I wish he saw, like, the puppy play stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> His puppy play in the uh in the in, shiny? Yeah. Wait, when? Ran into the old woman. I've never seen the shining. Stop spoiling it for me. <laughs> and that. My friends, it's how you keep a movie PG-13. Giant ass CG hand. (laughs) Okay. And that's what The Shining would look like if it was made in real time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. 
See, this is where the CG went from really good to really bad. Yeah. Oh my god. Bro. Okay, I will say the snow doesn't look all that good. Yeah, no, this does not look as real. Inside the hotel, spectacular. This, on the other hand, not Did as good. Did they not get the like likeness to Jack Nicholson? Honestly, probably not. How, what, how, what? When, That's where? Why, okay, yeah, totally. They did not get the... Wait, they, so wait. No, they got the key to the room, not the key. Oh. Yeah, just knock them all fucking over. Bro, it is straight up so... It's so weird to see these CG characters in uh in a room that looks so real. Like, I don't... Like, it's crazy. Uh-oh. It's time to get... Spooky. Time to have a drink, guys. Go to the bar. Are they above 21? I have no idea. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure in the book they're like 14, 15. Now that I think about it. <laughs> oh. It went from The Shining to like a... Haunted zombie, Mansion? Like, yeah, it's like a zombies map. You mean Bioshock? You mean anything with a creepy aesthetic? Wait. You guys need to stop referencing Kira, okay? Whoa. Bro, straight kicked them the fuck out. Oh, keep that one in your fucking pocket, dude. So this is a one player experience and that's why they all got kicked out. Single player mission? Yeah, single player. Oh my God. That's what I need. I need to pop my neck like that. Shove my head. Inside fucking my neck. Pop it. Goo -goo -goo. <laughs> and Artemis gets the second key. And now it's a key. All right, boys and girls, it took, what was it, 40 minutes to get the first key? After that, it took another, let's see. 30 minutes. 30 minutes to get the second key, and we still have an hour and a half left. <laughs> Riddle me this. So either they're going to get the next key in like 20 to 30 minutes, or they're going to get the next key super fucking fast, and the last hour is straight up no, that's visual what I porn. That that's what I was going to say. The first option is do they somehow fuck around the last, the rest of the movie? Oh, yeah. Well, if they made but, the, well, if they made the third key super hard to get and never, uh, that was the sequel. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the old lady. They straight up just couldn't get Jack Nicholson. That was the... How, they get how the in the, Yeah, how in the fucking world did they pay for the rest of everything in this film and not Jack Nicholson? 
Maybe Jack Nicholson just didn't want to be a part of this. <laughs> yeah, true. For his likeness. Yeah. I like how all their screens are straight up see-through and there's no way you'd be able to focus on it. It's like a lot of sci-fi shit, like Tony Stark's phone. Oh yeah, like, like fucking that. zoom enhanced nonsense. Oh, fun fact, this entire movie technically takes place in Columbus, Ohio. how it already looks though oh, bro straight up I, I, in the I am dis- I, i'm joking around i actually have no idea about something we only have we literally have only a singular friend from ohio that tells you a lot about ohio Fucking lonely fuck. Just like you two. You guys are both lonely fucks. So how about you invite Tracer and we get this over with? You know you want it. Yeah, Dude, it's literally, that's the final battle. <laughs> Straight up. That is Holiday's the final, final battle. Thing is- yes. Then you get the last key. Then you get the last key. Uh oh. No. Under arrest. This is the Earth Defense Force. Quit gaming. Bro, what if at the end of this movie they literally like a pause? Fan gaming? No, no, <laughs> no. What if a pause man you popped up in the real life asking if you wanted to quit the game and when you quit the game you went back into the Oasis? What well, the Oasis was the real world the entire time? Think about that one. Whoa, bro, that's like total mind fuck, dude. That was a bad Michelangelo. I wasn't <laughs> trying to be Michelangelo. Don't lie. You want to be like your best friend and you know it. <laughs> Not true. Look, he'll never watch this. Well, he'll never get the reference. We can say, let's say the truth right here. I really here. hope let, he does watch this. Let's say the truth right here, right now. You want to hear it? I know you know it's true. What? What's the truth? We're best friends. That's not true. We're best friends. We're best buds, and you yeah. know that. We're best friends. That's what that Scooby-Doo poster is. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know about that. Yeah, they don't know about it, but it's okay. We know about it. Look, all I'm going to say is that it's all semantics. Look at that, look at that IOI stuff. Look at, look at him hiding in a I'm, vent. I am both your best bud and your best friend as he is both your best friend and best bud. It's written. It is law. I put, It is law. Bro, straight up Discord, so, is it open on my computer or is no, that in no, the movie? No, no, that's in the movie. <laughs> like they're trying to get all their gamers now, together. Now wait a second here. You got it wrong. You told me it was the blink power. It was not. It's the oh, recall. My my bad. See, this is why I don't play Overwatch, because all these dumbass names. I want something clear. Just tell me to press the Y button, damn it. <clears throat> Bro, that's a big-ass drone. Never mind, it's really small once the lights go out. They're just all conveniently there in Cincinnati. Dude, they sent on a fucking DM. They made a group text. It was literally called Tracer Gangbang. And then they just chatted their information. <laughs> they were all on the same subreddit. <laughs> they were all on the same. They were on the dark, the dark depths of Oasis. <laughs> they went to the, the dark deep web. Oasis. Yeah, the, the deep, the deep web. Oasis. Deep in the Tracer. That's what I like to say. God damn it. Oh my.
No big deal, dude. You just had your name mispronounced your entire life. I can feel. I honestly, I can feel. They are not driving anywhere. Someone is just shaking the car. Bro, I understand how you shoot car scenes does not mean that this movie <laughs> did that. <laughs> look at that, though. That does not look like they're driving past anything real. Yeah, but unlike the way that you shoot stuff, they put green screen outside the windows. <laughs> if we had the fucking green screen, I'd do it. We do! Do we have that much green screen, though? To, to put up like that? We, we put up Duvetine. I mean, yeah, you would just have to pick up the stands and, like, move it to each side of the car for each shot you took. I'm thinking of, like, the wide shot. Yeah. Yeah. Because you only have to have enough that, like, outlines the car because then you can just mask the stuff that you don't need. You're right. Bro, I know I'm right. Bro. This is literally prison reform right there. I don't even know what the fuck is going on You know, right there now. was recently a news story that, like, ge geneticists found out a way to alter the genes or, like, put prisoners into virtual reality. Literally, the head headline was, like, scientists have figured out a way for prisoners to feel like they've lived a thousand years in jail when they've only lived one year in jail. And it was through, like, deep sleep virtual reality, like, cryo sleep nonsense. Bro, this movie literally just introduced the fucking aspect of slaves. I mean, prisoners. Oh, shit. That's the same stuff. Oh, God. Is that the Eye of Sauron? What? What do you mean? So you're in a video game? Is it another one of those video games inside a video game? Because I don't know if I can deal with that. <coughs> yeah. What an inquisitive pose. You know that she's going to become the one that tells you the truth. He's just wearing a tactical business suit. Bro, I wish I had a tactical business suit. I would rock that shit. I straight up want to wear a business suit with armor. That's what it is. Look at it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I want it. Well, how's he gonna know the fucking magic spell? Wait. No, he's not level 99. He ain't level 99. He's, bro, he's straight up only level one. <coughs> what was that supposed to do? It makes a giant protective shield so that people can't get in. Oh. Yeah. Or I guess get out. Yeah. Well, no, get in. Because they don't want people getting to the game. Oh my god! Samantha Cuck, where is she? We need one more person for our tracer orgy, and guess what? She You're is fifth in. on the list. <laughs> I like how it was a corporate, a fucking a corporate decision to blow up his house and kill his family. 
That was a corporate decision. The board members, we all got together. We all voted for it. I was a nay. I can promise you I was a nay. But the rest of us to home right now, bro. Someone blow up your house? Uh, it's like a board meeting. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, we, we'll talk yeah. about that little dildo later. What? What? Oh. Yeah, like a boomer. Bro, I like how their helmets in this fucking place are literally just like the Iron Man Mark 1s. <laughs> like, I feel like you could go on Amazon and just straight up buy an Oasis helmet for like 20 bucks and it would still look sleeker than whatever buckets are on their heads. What? what? What's your it's question? I'm kind of confused on what's happening. She's in prison. She got captured. They're trying to break her out. Oh. Save. I love a good old authorized break for 10 minutes. Union smoke break. <laughs> Union smoke break. Hell yeah. Except in, uh, in this world, marijuana is legalized, so the smoke breaks are a little different. <laughs> Bro, I just sounded like Nigel Thornberry. And you didn't even say anything. What? I like how there's a place conveniently in the line. Dies. Yeah, I was about to say his eyes are going to give him away. First thing I noticed. Uh oh. Passwords. Oh, no. How did he see that? How, straight up, how did he see that? Uh-oh. Boss Man 69. Oh no! Oh no! He knows now! Wait, but that helmet's too... different. Yeah. How'd she get a helmet like a sixer?
Lock the fucking door. Do something. I don't know if those doors have locks. Put something heavy in front of them. Like what? His office is literally that hamster ball. Who's the hamster ball? Wait a second. Well, I don't touch guns. It's he's against my moral it. He's code. He's gonna grab it. Nope. No. You were wrong. And I was right. I think that was sex positions. I don't think that was Kegel exercises. Anal? That says anal. Say it how it's spelled. Oh my god, they're actually getting to the tracer bit. Straight up. Here we go. That's a magic eight ball. That's a ghost from Destiny, bro. Is that a skin for a ghost in Destiny? I don't, I don't know. I kind of wish it is. I, I, I actually wouldn't doubt it if it was. Like, I, I want a magic eight ball. Bro, he's a straight up shinobi. Can't take you fucking seriously. Fucking. I like the Mortal Kombat. I was just about to say that. The Arkham Knight sees him. The Arkham Knight. Oh, yeah. Did you see recently they actually just released DLC for Arkham Knight? Really? Like, <laughs> fucking five years later? It was for a costume that was only available in a super specific fucking, uh, like, PlayStation 5, like, newsletter type deal. Huh. Like, it was super exclusive to get, and they finally just released it as DLC so you could just own it. It was really fucking weird. I saw it the other day on Twitter. That's weird. That is very weird. Arkham Knight's a good game, though. Yeah. 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 I liked it. I liked it. it but then again, that was the first one I played. You played Arkham Knight before you played Asylum and City? I watched my... You know Ross. Yeah, I, I watched Ross play the first Bro, piece, so you're what's wrong with the world. Well, I knew the story, so I... I I, I played, played both Arkham uh, Arkham Asylum and City on my computer, and then lo and behold, when Arkham Knight came out, I pre-ordered it on my computer, and that was back when uh, it was utter garbage on computer, because I don't remember if you remember that. It was like, I don't. it was a shit show of a launch on was PC. Was it one of those, like, PC ports? That yeah. Just... Yeah. They literally took it off for, like, half a year before it got released on PC, so I got a refund on Steam. And then I just bought it on the PlayStation, which has always irked me because to this day, I still don't own Arkham Knight on my PlayStation or on my PC. And I have the rest of the collection on my PC. Chunk. Transformers. Transform. Roll out. Oh, that wasn't Deadpool. Well, that one's not Deadpool. Huh? That's not Deadpool. I know, but in the trailer, I always thought that was. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Well, I just saw the two katanas on the back. Yeah, I know. I get that. Like the skin tight suit. Bro, he was just giving that inspirational speech to straight up no one. No one's fast traveling. (laughs) Everyone said no to the invitation. Or, as the cool kids call him, the, Did I miss him, invite. like, capturing the girl? Yeah. Okay, I, I did miss it, that. It was one that got raided. He escaped where, because he ran into 
he ran into Z or not Z. I forget the character's name. The one with the van. Cause he Oh. There they all come. Bro, is that straight up from Robocop, that giant walker? Okay, this is this is the you know how we talked about how you would die if you did the shot thing with all the references? This, yeah, this is the scene yeah. that if Battle you made toads. it you would you're out out. Let's see. <laughs> Let's start looking. Dude, you don't need, you don't need to look because there's at least ten in each one. Start pointing them out. We'll we'll start. Try to point them out. We'll make a list. I wonder if there's anyone that's made a fucking list on a like just of all the references. Yeah, all references in Ready Player One. All Number Easter one, eggs. the Battle Toads. Number two, Batman. Need the longest Number three, fucking video ever. Minecraft. Number four. Yeah, it would straight up be like five hours long. It's weird that as soon as she logged on with one of those headsets, it instantly put her into a costume like that. I guess it's just mandatory that that's... I like that. They put easel fucking squeaky marker, but that's a digital screen. Maybe that's the screen like makes that noise. <laughs> that's that was really straight up from minecraft they took the steve punching wood like sound and made it footsteps it's another reference bro no well they've already put minecraft in I here know, i know well, i have another one uh, dude i need to see a steve 3d model in movement i need to see fucking steve fucking slain <laughs> bro it's like all those like shitty tiktok memes or whatever where it's like the 3d model of kermit or steve like dancing to a singular track or whatever yeah that's what like I that. need to see that in this movie. Billion years. Oh shit, I was close. I said they cracked the code. Bro, not gonna lie. I've hacked a game once or twice in my life. This is how it feels. Tracer! It's fine. Wait, wait a second. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh no, spawn. we're starting. That girl. Yeah, he's holding we're not up. Gonna a... take it. We're not I gonna try it. take it. Is anymore. that a Zoid? Did I just see a Zoid? Yeah, probably. They they paid for Power Rangers. There's been Power Rangers in previous scenes. Have I missed Power Rangers? Yeah, you have. Sorry to say. You haven't told me. I didn't want to point it out. Yeah, it's time. Oh, they are Zoids. Yeah, dude. Come on, let's Wait, see that was Sonic. I just saw Sonic. Sonic dashed. Oh, there's another Halo guy. Oh, dude, Gr that, you, Gremlins. You uh, might as well. Was that, was that the fucking <laughs> Hoenn starters? You might as well not. No, I'm going. I'm trying to do this. <laughs> You're not going to be able to. It's too fast. I'm just trying to see, like, There's things. too many. DeLorean. There is literally too many. Oh, God. What's that? Target oh. acquired. Target acquired. Firing missile. Oh, that was a terrible glass sound effect. Now this is accurate. 
I, I do remember them having it, to play adventure to get to the Easter egg. Which, if you haven't caught on, Adventure was the very first game with an Easter egg, that's, and yeah, the Easter egg that. was the name of the creator. Because at that point, games did not have credits. So the only way to know who made the game was literally to read the manual. Ah. Uh, Come on, Look give at me that some more evil references. Evil Iron Man. What do you mean? If you literally pause that, you could find like 50 more. I know, more. but I'm trying to see some that I could find. Wa- some you're that I could you're see. wanting like main fucking attraction references. No, I'm just trying to notice some more. That was probably from something. Again, probably from something. Yeah, I know. Definitely from just something. Oh, uh, Chucky. <laughs> they used their 1F-bomb on Chucky. That's kind of funny. What if they just ran over and they just switched spots? That's what they did. No, but like with another group. Like it oh. was just like they ran to the left and just hopped into another capsule. Not oh, like I see what you're around. saying. Dude, I love that. They're straight... Oh, straight up just... There's Ninja there's Turtles. There's Ninja Turtles. There's the Halos. Halos. <laughs> Skeletons from something. <laughs> Who knows? There's too many. That was a giant scorpion. Oh, God. Let's just get all the Dark Souls boss bosses. Bro, this is a Dark Souls boss. Oh, God. That zoom what was, was that? wild. That was the craziest, like, parallax. It wasn't even, like, a zoom. It was, like, that, like you said, it was, like, a parallax. Zoom. Yeah, it was, like, a parallax zoom where where the person's moving forward, but the camera's also moving forward, but also racking zoom and focus at the same time. Like, zooming backwards? Yeah. Mecha Godzilla. Man, don't you wish that Mecha Spider-Man was in this? Yeah, I wish... Because in it... the book, he fought Mecha Godzilla. It was Leopardon and fucking... Yeah, Leopardon versus Mecha Godzilla. For you guys not knowing what we're talking about, there's a Japanese Spider-Man show in the 80s that had a a Megazord for Spider-Man. I actually had, when I first read the book, I had to look it up. Because I didn't know what it was. Oh no! I've chosen the form of a Gundam. Wait. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's pretty cool if I get to see a Gundam. Oh, bro. Yeah. I'm you, down. You about to see that. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it Eli that's into Gundams? Yeah, it's Eli. Yeah. I w- I always wanted to get one, but they're literally like $300. I know. I want. I want to do the same thing. I would love to get a Gundam because it's like, it's really, it's almost adult Legos in it's a sense. It's exactly what it is. And that's why I love it. Or, well, it's kind of similar to like model kits in a sense, like trains, planes, stuff like that. I don't know. I just feel like Gundams are just, it, it's more robot to me, which makes it feel more kid-like. Yeah, no, I get you. Oh, bro. Top 10 anime fights. Have you ever watched the Gundam anime? No, I need to, though. My only problem with watch I actually watched one recently. I'll I'll probably send it to you. But my problem with watching a lot of the Gundam animes is just the sole fact that a lot of them are old. And I honestly, I can't deal with the old animation style. I love old animation, so I might dig it. But no, there, there's definitely one that I, I watched recently. Oh my god, you just flipped him off! But yeah, no, there was one I watched, not recently, like maybe one or two years ago, that like, 
made it to where the Gundams, you made them in real life. You customized them, you painted them, you did whatever you wanted to do. Yeah. And then you placed them on a pressure plat or pressure pad in a game store on your home console. It would scan it and then you would have your Gundam in the game and then what's like this. Oh, that's that's cool. So where, it's kind of like Skylanders. But... Yeah, where you were like Power Ranger style. You were an avatar inside your fucking Gundam. Oh, that's fucking cool. Yeah. Which I'm I'm fairly certain a lot of the Gundam animes were like that. Not gonna lie. Oh, wait, that was an anime? I thought that was like a real game. Oh, no. No. There was a game on the DS that you could do something similar. I remember because I went to like some kind of convention... Or it was some kind of competition, and uh, I met is up he with. Dead? What is like? The, is that his death, bro? I don't know, but uh, I was I was at like a competition type thing, and I made friends with someone because they had a DS, and I was like, I have a DS, and they were playing a a ro- like a build your own robot battle game. So you literally battle people, and you know, whenever you won, you got their parts, and you could just build. I feel like a- I had a friend that played the same game. I I was always super fucking interested in playing it, and I never I never got around got to it. Name. Yeah, I, I never knew the name of the game until recently because I was actually looking it up after I watched the Gundam series and found it again, and I was like, "Oh wow, this really looks bad." But then I was also wondering, like, why the hell are uh... he survives? <laughs> no, not really, but as a bridge. But no, I I actually kind of wonder why. That's not been a thing again. I feel like if they tried well, I, that during the height of the Gundam, or not Gundam, the like Skylanders type yeah, of game. Yeah, but I feel like if they released a game that was basically battle bots and it was like an RPG, Pokemon esque, where you had to collect bits and pieces to make the ultimate fucking robot for battle bots, I feel like that would take off. I know, I completely agree. Because that takes Pokemon and adds customization to it. Well, also, like, what you were saying, where you would have to, like, physically build a robot. Oh. Well, I mean, they kind of did that with uh, that... uh, Like, Lego Dimensions. No, it was... Well, yeah, Lego Dimensions, but also... Lego Dimensions were full-on sets. There was also one that was uh, for Xbox and Switch that, like, you got Amiibos of Starships and you could adapt them and put them together. It was made by Ubisoft. Oh, oh, or you that's got cool. bits and parts for the for your starship, and when you put them together and put them on the switch on the amiibo reader, it would actually give you that ship. Oh, that's really fucking cool. Yeah, so I'm, I uh, like that idea, but I I'm I like the idea of what you were saying with the game. But well, like, no, you could do the like same thing, base, like a so, base model. Like, so the the base would be the feet. So you could buy a bunch of different feet. Yeah, and then from there you had the torso, the head. And the bot and the arms. Yeah. So you could have like tank tread feet or normal feet or like whatever feet you wanted. And then one or two different arms. Then you could have like three to five different torsos. There would be like 12 different arms for each side. So you could have different weapons. And then the heads were just purely cosmetic. The only thing that, w- the only thing that you'd have to do in game that you couldn't do outside of game would honestly be painting. Yeah, the painting it to be your color scheme, but yo, no, I, I, I am honestly kind of surprised that that has not happened with with a video game. I wish we knew the people to do it. We, we we'll make millions, Peyton. Bro, I've we'll been make lear- our own oasis. I've been learning how to code. I think we can do it. We'll do it on our own. I'll make the robots. You do the coding. Bro, I'm ready. Oh my! Straight Gone. up said bye, bitch. I like how it left a singular portal, though. That's for plot reasons. <coughs> Trying to slowly deafen my cough. It's okay. (laughs) 
Yeah, but he beat the game. He didn't find the Easter egg. I, oh, I really wonder if they took like a Ness and they put adventure in and they actually like used uh, Elgato or Hapog or whatever and actually recorded them playing to get to that ending. I wonder. Because just like the game is super simple. It's a bunch of geometry. So it's like they could have remade all the maps and just remade it but i feel like it would have just been more authentic and real if they would have just recorded it and put it in or they paid someone on youtube an exorbitant amount of money to take their gameplay what did you say you need to go to the bathroom dude 10 sh- 10 years of shit that's bad for just, your intestines. Just drop it bro you know if you don't shit it's it honestly it can cause like illnesses right you don't hold that shit in literally top 10 anime fights <laughs> <laughs> bro i wish bro he went emo bro this is just dick grayson versus batman comic oh he did a hadouken <laughs> You were about to, you thought he was going to do Kamehameha. Bro! That was the joke I was making. That was straight I, from Mortal Kombat. That was, uh, what's that character? Uh, Johnny Cage. Oh, wait. I was going to say John Cena to really mess with people. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? That's the bomb that destroys all players. Yeah. Even the, even the owner. But you can. Oh my god! But you can respawn, right? I I think you can't respawn in the same place that you died. I think it's kind of like Dark Souls in the sense that you respawn back to your, your last checkpoint. But yeah, but either way, you could just. Oh, it also wipes everything. So if they wanted to do this, they'd have to do the. The, oh yeah, that's the thing. It, it it literally it destroys. So you'd have to start back from key number one. Not her. That's funny. <laughs> I've never been so upset. Okay. So. Wait, how though? Is he special? To explain this is exactly like how it happens in the book. This is like one of the main. He's still in. This is, this is the main feature. The coin, just like any arcade game, gives you an extra life. And he has the only one in existence. <laughs> Wait, he has the only extra life in all of... Yeah. Yeah. How do you get that? Because he figured out the the second key. That it was all men about... It was all revolving around Kira, and then the robot in the museum gave him the coin. Oh. I missed that, too. Yeah. It's a wild ride. It really is. It happens in the book. It, like, the whole extra life thing, like the, yeah. ca- the, catacly- or the catalyst bomb and all that stuff, it actually happens. You probably should have reversed that. My name yeah. is Daito, you know, or like I'm also my, known as Toshiro. My real name is. Yeah.
Bro, he, he has literally had two lines in this film, and it's both being, yeah, I'm 11 years old. <laughs> so what? I'm a gamer. So what? I'm a gamer. What up? Yeah, I fucked your mom. So what? They're on the trail. They know. Oh, my God. These last 30 minutes of him playing adventure. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real, though. I hope you're ready. Because I'm not. Christopher Nolan, pick up the fucking phone. I have a new movie idea for you. You're going to love it. Give me the gun. Everyone fucking died. Bro, this shit's going to get inspirational real fast. Ta-da! Yeah, no, that was that was I uh, uh, got the key. That was straight up how you how you how you played that or how you beat that game, basically. I kind of, I honestly, I kind of love that little bit. I can't see. You know, she's like the one that's supposed to be focused on driving. Hey, grab it. But she can't see because they're not in a VR headset. <laughs> God. It like disappears. Bro, Mario Kart reference, but they couldn't afford any Nintendo characters. He has it. Just hold on to it. Oh, now that is Ako Taco. See, this is cool how they actually made him sway around like he was in a car. No, I get you. Like, a lot of this movie's smart. It's just, I, I really, like, it should not have been a singular film. I think, again, the world is cool. I just, the story's kind of eh. But the thing is, is that if they would have kept to the book, the story probably could have also been cool. Because, oh, like, even, oh. it, even if it's one of those things where it was just, like, an 80s nostalgia trip with all the, like, references and stuff like that, like, in, in, in truth... It was still a fun read, and I feel like this movie's just not a fun watch. Like, it's fun for the effects and all that stuff. It's fun to watch with you, buddy. Oh, my. Dude, you just gave me a half chub. You pointed it wasn't a fool. Bro, you know how to get me there. You just got to give me a full Wait, I need compliment. to know what the Easter egg is. Oh, sorry. He gets all his riches. <laughs> that was literally the rules of the he Easter He missed egg. that. It's okay. It's a movie.
I thought he was gonna spray it in her face. I honestly, I thought he was gonna. Uh, oh shit! Oh my god! I thought he was gonna like actually use it as a weapon, not as a spray and or a throwable object. Uh oh. I'm having second thoughts. <gasps> That's it. There's more. There's an Easter egg within the Easter egg, dude. Bro, now think if one of the IOI people got here, they would sure, but sign that in an instant. And then what would have happened? Who knows? See, this is how the first key actually happened. He went to his childhood room and found a certain thing that like led him to the first key. And then just like that, once the, the last key happened, he went back to the room and lo and behold, the story began where it ended. Accidentally push it. Oh. <laughs> well, called that. Wait a one. second! Isn't this where that scene from Transformers was shot? Where he Maybe. was on the bridge and the cop car turned into the. Was it a cop car? It's been a while since I've seen Transformers. I think you're pretty accurate, actually. Yeah, no, I, I'm like, I rem it's really reminded me of that, like, section of dirt. <laughs> and overpass. Yeah. You lost it. God, this cuts Worse than Death Stranding. <laughs> you haven't even played Death Stranding. I just know they're like 40 minutes long. I, I actually never looked into that. I remember reading a report about that, but I never actually looked into that. Bro, that Glock you got only has like 13 shots. Well, he can't count. Bro. He's speaking the gamer culture right there. That's so funny. Bro, it's true, though. Have you ever had a virtual hot dog? No. It's bad. Really bland. <laughs> yeah, straight up airy. I really feel like that was, uh, that was a practical light. They just replaced it with a CG egg. Like, that's a light that's just under them. <laughs> I really wish that was the fucking end of the movie. They <laughs> just get shot credits. <laughs> bro, bro, straight crying. 
Have me crying in the club, bro. Put the gun down. We're driving our Tesla police cars. Elon Musk sent us to arrest you. On the ground. Wait. Which one? <laughs> A or B? Choose your path. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I am code and a machine. Good answer. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bro, who got a fucking bullseye on that dartboard? Holiday. I don't believe it. That man, he's got aim in video games. He don't got aim in real life. This dude, I just figured it out. This dude looks like discount baby driver. Uh... <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know about that one. I can... Maybe his hair, but the rest of his, the like, face, facial structure? Face, yes. No, he does not. The man... This guy's got a wider nose and a larger mouth. You can maybe say eyes, but everybody has eyes. <laughs> Count. No. Discount version no. of this. Yes. Looking at a picture of him redefines my statement. Fucking discount. Let me see it again when he's not floating and making out. Straight up. Look at him. He's got a wide ass nose and a big ass mouth. And what is Angor Asalov or whatever his last name fucking is? Ansel Esgort. Yeah. He's Elgort. got a thin fucking pointy nose and a little mouth. Nothing. He's got the hair. Yeah. He's literally got the hair and nothing it. else. Yeah, well, you're fucking blind. So how about we talk about that for a, for a shut second? The fuck up. Yeah, well, you say shut the fuck up. Who's wearing glasses in this relationship, huh? You should be wearing glasses. Though. Yeah, well, I scratched up my lenses, so I'm <laughs> blind. What's up? <laughs> Is that the Bill of Rights? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Constitution of the United States? Am I going to add my name as a founding father? We are. Bro, Foundation. this is literally how the reboot of the Power Rangers happened. This is the prequel. Wait, did that sign just say GG Parzival? Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm glad they had time to make it like within like all these signs within the time Go there. Go like, step. Yeah, in all this time, they were able to make all these fucking signs in, like, five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I love how they keep adding fucking... I also fucking... love how uh, the cop cars are, don't have any sort of, like, cages. Oh, yeah, no. But I, I'll also say, I love how they keep adding fucking uh, Back to the Future, like, strings in here. Like, just randomly, they keep adding them. Did Spielberg direct action? Yeah. That might be why. No, it's a definitely bit, why. Yeah, he might have a little bit more lenient with that property than the rest. Got a real extra life token. Yeah, straight up. If he got shot in the fucking head, puts it in the fucking. 
Yeah, he Boon. just it rubs it into the hole. <laughs> And you've made me believe that. These are my gamers. These are my gamer buddies. Please introduce yourself with your gamer tags. I don't need to know your real names. Not gonna lie, the high five seems like a group of stoner gamers. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it sure does, don't it? Like MLG, like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Phase, phase clan type of shit. <laughs> Bro, in VR, that would be such a better experience. You can have Tracer there. I felt like it was about to go into like the Star Wars. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Are you telling me they're fucking 15 minutes of credit? Hell yeah, I am. I'm hey, this shit. Da, da. <laughs> you see how much of that time bar is left? Oh, okay. It's only like it's still seven minutes. It's ten minutes. We've been in the credits for a minute now. Think about that. Well, not a minute. I, I lied. Yeah, no, it's like nine minutes of credits. Ah try my dreams come true. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. It's so, a lot better hearing this like I took the headphones off. Oh, just, just hearing me fucking say this shit? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you haven't seen this movie before. What would you rate it? I have my rating, personally. If No, completely honest. Yeah. 100% honest. Not like, like no, Anime Month. No, no fooling around or anything. No Anime Month. I think, I think it's like a blockbuster. I think this is like a solid... Like, Bro, think, how did you read my fucking mind? All that, action, no substance. <laughs> Yeah, no, exactly. Like it's it's purely like a popcorn. Which, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I think you'll find very apparent in video game (laughs) movies that we watch. Oh yeah. Like straight up, I feel like they're all gonna be all action, no substance. Sad to say, because I mean, like that that might be the perception of video games. But hey, but Detective Pikachu. Oh yeah, Detective Pikachu. That That's, was our first first video yeah, game movie. Yeah, first that, video game movie and the best video game movie. Technically an anime movie, if we want to Yeah, count. no, really. I know it ad- adapted it never, the game, but I mean, Pokemon as a franchise is also an anime. And a, well, yeah. Well, what, what the came... Anime? No, I think the... I'm trying to remember if the, the anime came before the card game. And, and then I, I think the card game came before the game. No, the game was first. Was game the game was, first? The game was very first. Oh, yeah, no, the game everything... was... No, the card game was first, then the anime happened, and when the anime was released, so was the game. No. Yeah. No, I promise. It was the game, and then everything else got released. How popular. I'm pretty sure it started as a trading card game. It's st- No, it started... Because he was a game... Pro- the dude that programmed the game, um, he made it... Because, made the game because of love... Like bugs and shit like that. Oh well, maybe yeah. So he made the game, and that got so popular. Anime got adapted. I don't know. I know the anime was for the card game. They were because it was like action figures in the sense of like if they if they convinced them enough to buy the card game or even the game. Like the card game was like a main money maker because it's like five dollars per packet of fucking cards. God, that's a that's a steal for the company. So I don't know. Your your rating on this movie is about the same. Well, yeah, no, six out of ten. Literally, all action, no substance. That's my review. 
I, I really wish they went the Lord of the Rings route and fucking actually... Or Hobbit route. Or the Hobbit... Or just any fucking trilogy. Was the Lord of the Rings three books or was it one book? I don't know. I don't remember. I, I've never read the books. I just know the movie. Because I, I there haven't were, either. Because there was literally so much fucking substance, they had to make three movies. And I feel like if they would have stuck more to the books, I then mean, this would have turned I, into I, three. I kind of understand, like, Tolkien was kind of more of a renowned author. Oh, the, yeah, no, and, but, like, but the thing is, is that when you really think about, like, company influences and stuff like that, why the hell wouldn't they make this into three movies? No, I, I kind of agree. I mean, I could totally see them also. They got the rights to the characters, maybe. Yeah, no, I mean, exactly. Like, I mean, like, Ready Player One, two, that. I totally see where you're coming from. Like, it, they wanted to really market it. Yeah, no, it's a very odd, odd thing that it didn't happen. Like, even, like, reference back to the movie I saw, it still set up for, like, the rest of the movie. Yeah. Like, that was a book series, unlike the physical book, but it, like, set it up to at least keep... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't know. Also, people complain about like everyone trying to start like a universe. Yeah, no. Franchise. Yeah, no. So, that's that's been the pa- a big thing the past like four or five years. So it's like a catch twenty two. Yeah. Really wanted to. I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us on this grand adventure, our first video game movie of our video game month of February. Hope you. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope you had a good time, and make sure to join us back next week for uh, you know, a, a hellish scenario. Uh, we might we might be seeing a few demons. We might be going to Mars. We might be seeing some doom and gloom. Uh, so make Stay sure. Stay tuned that... for the Super Mario Bros. That's not next. Oh my God! <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. That's coming. Stop spoiling it. They already know. It's okay. Yeah, I know. I'm Chayton. I'm Fish, and we'll see you later, guys. Yeah, thanks for listening to the My Mesh Movie Talk.